What's going on? My name is Mike, and today I wanted to share with you an unboxing and review of the Rhizoma Veloce mirrors, which will be going on my Ducati Monster 937. Also, at the end, I'll be talking about if these may be a good alternative to the very popular Rhizoma stealth mirrors. Let's get right into it. So here's the box that these mirrors come in. Very nicely branded, very good quality box. And you can see the two seals at either end to show it's an authentic Rhizoma product. All right. So the mirror comes in this plastic felt lined container and the mirror pulls out like this. So we'll put that to the side, Let's see what else is in the box. You can see it comes with an instruction manual telling you how to install these mirrors on your motorcycle. Please remember though to purchase the correct handlebar adapters which are listed on their website for every type of bike. So the mirror itself, let's take it out of its packaging. You can see here it's beautiful shiny aluminum with the Rhizoma branding on both sides. Since this mirror is interchangeable, they put the logo on both sides. This is how it'll mount to your handlebars here. And then in the vertical direction, it adjusts through this articulation, which needs to be slightly loosened. So these mirrors actually contain two different materials. They have a billet aluminum body, which they say is obtained by 3D precision machining. You can see these machine marks here. The rest of the mirror comes with an aerodynamic polymer shell. They say that the use of these two materials makes this a lighter mirror and more aerodynamic. And they say that their aerodynamic shaping helps prevent turbulence at high speed. The mirror itself is true glass. Compared with the Ducati Monster stock mirrors, which are plastic, this feels much higher quality build. So that is that. These mirrors are listed on the Rhizoma website for 169 euros, which is not cheap for two mirrors. However, the quality of the materials and design will definitely take your bike to another level. They also come in a sport version, which can be mounted to your sport bike for a more aggressive and aerodynamic look. And finally, they have a Veloce L version of these mirrors, which comes with an LED integrated turn signal, which also has a nice touch. Now, the question some people may have, is it worth spending that much money when for a little bit more you can get these stealth mirrors, which are very popular and very attractive. The stealth mirrors are currently listed on their website for 419 euros for the pair, which is slightly more expensive than the two Veloce mirrors. However, the styles are very different, so you'll have to decide what kind of a style you're going for. The stealth mirrors are a lot more aggressive and they might not look as good on a naked bike. On a sport bike, the stealth mirrors could be an excellent addition, especially if you're considering doing track days. Another issue that I have with the stealth mirrors is their visibility. These Veloce mirrors have a larger mirror, so you can actually see more of the surroundings around you. If that's less important to you, the stealth might be a good alternative. So again, it comes down to user choice, but for me, I thought the Veloce mirrors were the better option for the Ducati Monster. Stay tuned, I'll have a video of the installation of before and after on the Monster and other parts reviews. Thanks again for watching.